you could optimum, okay, I'm going to show okay, the vector operations in the Casio FX570 plus fix calculator. Okay, once you turn on the calculator, you press manual, okay, default will be in the new one, calculate. To do the vector operations, okay, you can go down option number 5, this is for vector okay, manual. And then click, let's say, okay, we are going to uh, input two vector A and B. So that's where we are in mode 5, and then you just press the input. Okay, after that, you can define the vector, okay. In this new model, you can define extra one vector D compared to the Casio FX570 MS or FS. If you're going to define vector A, then we press 1. The A is a 3 A by 1 vector, so the dimension press 3. Then we input click A, 1 equal 2 equal 3 equal. If we have input third vector A, we have case click C. To input vector B, we press options. In options here, let you define vector. Option number two, option one define vector. Option number two to edit vector. For example, vector A, just now maybe you want to edit it to be okay, uh, input from me. 3, 4, 5, 6 to do the vector operation involve vector A, B, C, D. Okay, so, um, let's go to so, the one to define vector B. So, press number 2. Dimension for vector B again is uh, 3. So, what is the vector B? 4, 5, 6. We put 4, 5, we put 6, we put so we have input click vector B already. Vector B. Okay, we make AC to clear the screen. AC to clear the screen. Okay. Let's say first operation that we are going to do is do the dot product of vector B. Okay, press option. As I said, one is for you to define vector. Number two is edit vector. Okay, let's see, we press number two. Okay, what the so you want to edit vector A, then we just change. Okay, press option again. Define edit vector population. On the tree here, vector population. Okay. Yeah, now I want to do okay, the dot product of A and B. So press 3. Okay, dot product. Okay. Um, then your options again. Go down. You see vector answer. You can input four vector. The calculation will store K okay, in the vector answer. Here we can do the dot product. Okay, finding the ang angle of a vector. Calculate the unit vector. If you want to do dot product, so options number two. Vector A want to dot with vector B. So options we choose number four. Okay, let's get the dot product is. Okay. If you are going to find the cross product, we clear the screen from the you want to check whether it's correct. So, so the dot product one times four plus 2 times 5, 10, so 14 times 8, 3 times 6, 8, 18. <laughs> so total is 32. In 4, 14, uh, 5 times 2 is 10, so plus 18, so total is 32. The cross product. So we AC to clear. Later on, we want to do the cross product of A and B. Eh? A and B. So options. Vector 3. 
increases multiplication is for the cross product. So options, factor number four. So you get the so this is your vector three, negative three, six, negative three. And to find the unit vector, AC options, okay, unit vector, mm. unit vector, okay. Oh. okay, to find unit vector of A, so you get the unit vector, and then options, unit vector of A, two, six, two, three. Then you can find the magnitude of a vector in AC. Find magnitude of a vector A. We use the absolute value ABS. ABS is going to come here. On top of the left KR parenthesis. So press shift. So absolute of vector A to get vector A you press options number three. No, seven four one six. You now pick four decimal place. If you want four decimal place, uh, shift to number format. Fix it four. So four decimal place. Okay. So you think they uh, the completed say the operation pay for vector and. You can do the dot product, cross product, okay? I want to find uh, the unit vector. Uh, so, to this case, thank you for attention.